and new updates in the clinical trials for a COVID-19 vaccine. Johnson & Johnson say it's had to pause the trial after one of the patients fell ill. Liza Lucas joins us now from the 11 Alive Bridge. And Liza, this comes just weeks after the company announced it was in its final stage. That's right, but we have to say a pause like this when it comes to these clinical trials is not unexpected, but nevertheless, it has prompted a conversation on our 11 Alive Facebook page. Our insiders talking about it this morning. What we know so far, very few details when it comes to this Johnson & Johnson case, but the company has said in a statement that an independent safety board is reviewing the participants case. Now, Monday's announcement also means that two of the four COVID-19 vaccine trials currently in phase three in the U.S are on hold. AstraZeneca, you may remember, paused the phase three trial of its trial last month after a patient reported a serious side effect. Now, testing of that vaccine has resumed in some countries, but not in the U.S. But at that time, experts say that the move of a temporary pause should be a reassurance. It should be an example of the scientific standards that are being upheld despite the very public push for a vaccine and that is really where our conversation has gone this morning. Is it reassuring to you to see this temporary hold be put in place? And for Bob it is. He says it sounds like a carefully designed, well monitored, publicly transparent trial by a reputable company. Lyrical Flow also re agreeing that it is reassuring. Gary, however, says a little assured, but how much longer can this take? And for Loray, it's just no. He says there's too many unknowns still for him. So continue to weigh in. Our insiders are talking about it, and I'm talking about it with you.